Difference between freezer bag and storage bag. We accidentally used Ziploc storage bags instead of freezer bags to package some meat for the freezer. We noticed this after the fact and it got me thinking, what is the difference? Marketing aside, they both appear to be resealable zipper like airtight and watertight plastic bags. Freezer bags are slightly thicker plastic and more forgiving of sharp or pointy foods like meat with protruding bones. I know some freezer bags include a white place to write a label on. I don't remember if storage bags do as well. The press to seal bags do a better job of not spilling if accidentally dropped compared to the zipper versions. HTTP colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two zero one three zero one zero five zero six three three four nine slash HTTP colon slash slash www dot consumer reports dot org slash crow slash magazine dash archive slash twenty ten slash march slash home dash garden slash storage dash bags slash overview slash index dot htm see link one a freezer bag actually has an additive that is added to the poly while the film is blown. This helps prevent the plastic from becoming brittle and breaking down while frozen for a long period of time. If you plan on freezing something for a long period of time do not use a regular storage bag. Thicker plastic does not have as much to do with it as people think. Another additive is added to the poly to make the film stronger and have more stretch to it. Certain recipes for poly will prevent a bag from being a thinner mill thickness than others. Write on white ink, the white block on the poly bag is used for many types of bags, auto shops for parts, food storage and so on. For every type of use for a poly bag, packaging salt for sidewalks, fertilizer, food storage, anti-stat, even garbage bags all have different additives used when the plastic is first made.